think you should oh. Good morning, J-Riders. It's your girl, Justine, and I'm back with another video. Guys, I'm headed to Starbucks real quick because I need a little coffee and I just didn't want to make my own. Plus, I had to run to the ATM and grab some money for this carpet cleaning. Um, me and my brother going half on the carpet cleaning, so I have to, you know, get my, my half. I haven't been to Starbucks, I feel like, in a minute because I'm always making my little own coffee. Since I'm out and have to run to the bank, I figure I'll just treat myself. Plus, you know, I do have um, some reward points, so I won't be spending any money today on Starbucks. Yesterday was kind of like a lazy day for me, even though I was productive because I put out two videos. But still, I was like lazy, sitting around the house all day trying to get organized. I woke up today, I felt so accomplished walking into that bathroom without all that stuff on it. <laughs> no clutter, your mind ain't all bothered. I woke up refreshed and just, I didn't feel like overwhelmed or like, oh my God, I gotta get through, do this. And every day I felt like that, oh my God, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, blah, 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 blah. And every day I didn't do nothing. So I'm finally getting myself together, guys. Finally, it's a slow process, but it's starting. I'm starting to get like a little sore throat through the night, and it's because of that damn AC. It felt last night, for some reason, I felt so cold. Plus, I got them thin old covers and sheets that ain't really keeping me warm, you know? I can't wait to get my bed. I can't wait to get my bed. I have never in my life missed the bed so much. It just tells me like you appreciate how much you appreciate things when you don't have it. And I, that's how I feel. I really appreciate having a bed. Some good old mattress. Man, I appreciate that kind of stuff. It just made me just look at life different a little bit. I'm starting to just like just be I already been thankful, trust me. I'd be thankful every day and a lot of things that happen in my life. I'm always thankful. Let's just feel like that. Every day I'm thankful. And um, I don't know, I just look at life a little bit different because you know, I had things taken away from me where I was put in a situation where I feel like I didn't really have anything. So now I feel like, wow, I just feel like I appreciate those little small things now. I appreciate like having my own and and you know I appreciate having a bed like damn and I don't know I look at look at people in certain situations like it's a lot of homeless people out here in Arizona and I be looking at them like wow I give it up I give it up to them because I don't know how they make it out here in this hot ass heat I barely can make it a day sleeping in a car. So, oh, the, the line way back here? Oh, okay. Okay, the line way back here. I just appreciate stuff different now. You know, you look at things different when you ain't got it. So, it's a lot of things I don't have anymore that I feel like I took for granted. I don't want to get emotional because I get to thinking about stuff like that and get ready to cry. Lord, what's wrong with me? I swear. I've been so emotional these days. It just don't make no sense. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going through so much that I think every time I get emotional, I get teary-eyed because I'm going through so much. But I'm trying to hold it all together. I'm going to be fine. I got it. Don't need to worry about me. I don't know what they sitting back there for because if you was in line, honey, you wouldn't be that damn far back there. I was thinking about making me some oatmeal, but I was thinking I'm in here at Starbucks. I might as well treat myself to some something good here. I never had that oatmeal. I wonder how that tastes. Damn, they out of egg white bites. So they offered me the um, kale and Portobello. 
Corbella kale and mushroom. And I had that before. I'm not a big fan of it, but I said, okay, I'll take it. It's probably better for me, probably. So I'm getting that and then the um, coffee. I gotta go through my email. Oh, I gotta edit another video this morning to go up. Um, it's just a lot. I just constantly busy, which I love. I love being busy. Trust me, I love being busy because they help keep my mind off stuff. So I do appreciate it. I thank God that I'm busy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So I'm glad I'm busy. But I'm so busy that I be feeling like I don't have enough time in the day. Like, how can you work, upload, make video, um, get organized, do all these other things you got to do in your life? I couldn't work yesterday because... I, had, I was editing basically all day. Then today, look at my nails. Oh my God. Then today, um, I can't work today. I'm getting the carpet clean. Plus I got edit and other stuff I got going on. Well, you guys see, y'all with me every day, so. Plus, you know, talking to lawyers and it's just, it's just too much. Just, why am I going through all this? I just sometimes be asking myself, why am I going through this? What, what happened? Look at that. I took a sip, sip of my um, coffee. And you can see. Guilty pleasure. As you can see, I got stuff. I call it stuff. But it's probably a lot of bush. <laughs> so I got a lot of stuff. In the closet, still on the floor. We're not we're not talking about on the shelf stuff hanging up. It don't matter. That stuff don't matter. What matters is we got to clear the floor so the man can come clean the carpet. Now, I only got this little space to work with right here, so I'm creative when it comes to things. So I figure we are going to use the bathtub. Okay, it's a perfect place to. And this shower curtain is, hold on, let's get the shower curtain. The shower curtain is the stable. If it falls, it falls, I don't give up. So right now, y'all gonna watch me get all this stuff out the bathroom. But this one right here, this can go in the bathtub. I can see this go in the bathtub because it's plastic. the bedroom but I wanted to show y'all this kale look how the kale look see how it look green so I gotta take me a little break I had another food y'all see my struggles I go through so yeah you can see it's very greenery like Very green, like vegetable, like. 
Now, you can try it at your own risk, okay? This is all I'm gonna say. Try it at your own risk. I'm not gonna recommend it. <laughs> Doesn't get me wondering, will I recommend it? No, I recommend egg white bites with peppers, not kale. I mean, you can get it if you like that kind of stuff. Mm. It's not really my cup of tea, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. So as you can see, everything's cleared out in this closet. Everything's cleared out, even from behind the door. And then everything's on top. In here, I'm gonna have to take this air mat. I'm washing the sheets, so I think I'm gonna have to take this air mattress down. I'm gonna take that chair, put it in the kitchen, and then just get all this other little knickknacks off the floor. <laughs> knickknacks. I'll be coming up with some crazy ass stuff to say. Knickknacks. <laughs> looking everything is out of the way this is what I was talking about where I feel like I need a smaller desk I just really want a desk to go across the front right here because I feel like this space right here I can be more over with my chair and then I feel like I'm in my own little nook area I think this is just too large for this room when I had got this desk um, I had the other room and I had put this in the other room. But then my brother came down, you know, they took over that room, I had to put this in here. So uh, I don't like this setup. So I wanna get a smaller desk and I just wanna show y'all why. But yeah, the bed is going down slowly. Everything is in the bathroom. I feel like I just cleaned up for nothing, but it's okay. And yeah, the closet's empty. We're waiting on a man. We're waiting on him. Well, I am. And then out here, I put the chairs away. I think I'm a vacuum. I think I'm a vacuum. And then I put the chairs in here in the kitchen because I'm washing. So here's my furniture. I left my furniture here because I was going to come back and get the furniture um, once I had found the place out in California. So I, I didn't want it to sit in storage. Cause you know, I just got this furniture, and this was a fur this is some furniture I always wanted. I manifested. I looked at this almost every day. I wanted this. This came from IKEA. Um, when I when I first got it, I was like, uh, it's not what I thought it was gonna be. But now that I got it, it has grown on me. I just need to jazz it up a little bit, you know, it looks kind of plain. So it's hard to find something to go with this color, I'm not going to lie. But I'm, I'm up for the challenge to make it work. And then this fireplace right here, I got this back at, uh, in Milwaukee at the furniture store called Steinhoffels. I do want to revamp this fireplace. And this is going to be one of my projects I'm going to do on here while I make the uh, fireplace. I'm going to jazz it up. I might add little wood details on it. But I'm going to change this right here to marble. I want this to be marble. And I'm not for sure if I want this to stay black or white. So, y'all stay tuned for that. That's a project I want to do. 
and then um yeah my tv i've been had so this basically just stayed here when i had moved to california and i'm glad it did because you know i ain't want to be damaged all in the you know in storage and stuff so i'm glad it just sat here and then as far as the table goes if i keep the fireplace black then i'm gonna leave this black but i was thinking to add different kind of cheers some really nice cheers and just keep this this is not a bad base it's basic but it's not a bad base it's a table base so getting the carpet clean so happy i'm just sitting here waiting for the carpet cleaning people to come and looking at netflix but um i just want to say something because i've been noticing like the comment section you guys are just too much sometimes but um i just want to address something so a lot of people were saying in the in the last video i was forcing my kids to take edibles okay first of all i want to make something clear to everybody out there uh my kids are grown okay if it was something that they didn't want to do they wouldn't did it um Plus, like Marisha, a lot of people already know she smoke, right? Because she does it on her channel. So, my kids already get down. They do their own little thing, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't smoke. So, I just had them try a piece of candy that, you know, I had. Um, but I see a lot of y'all, y'all don't understand that, y'all, and y'all feelings about me um, doing that. So, I won't do that no more. It's no problem. But you're not finna call me a bad mother that you're not gonna do because I'm a good mother I had my kids at a very young age I worked hard I did whatever it had to take to put food on the table they are they never been without okay they probably at times wish they had more but I did what I could do above and beyond not once did I hear uh, them ever tell me I was a bad mother because they would be the ones to judge me for that not you guys because you guys don't know so by you telling me I'm bad or whatever, you mean, you don't know me. You you wasn't there, but they know. They're the ones that can judge and say if their mother was a bad mother or not. Um, I worked hard. I didn't. I wasn't on drugs. I didn't do anything. Uh, I I occasionally had a drink every now and then, but otherwise, I did what I had to do. I was a good role model. I tried to be the best role model I could be, and I think I did very well. You know, my kids is not in jail. They're not uh, strung out on drugs. They're not doing any goofball type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, I think I can give myself a little uh, pat on the shoulder and say I did a good job. But because I t let them try a piece of candy with a little special treat or, or whatever, that don't make me a bad mama. I'm just letting y'all know that. Like, that don't mean I'm a bad mother. But because y'all very judgmental over here, I would just want to show that kind of stuff, okay? I thought it might be cool, y'all, you know, seeing, you know, us chilling and, you know, what we was doing. But, you know, that part, I see it, it, it touches y'all, you know. But uh, I'm very close to my kids. Um, when they was younger, I wanted to have a good relationship with my children where they can come and talk to me about anything. And, you know, I'm sure when they was young, they was out sneaking, doing things they weren't supposed to do. But now that they grown, you know, they can sit back and tell me about it. And I'd be like, what? You know, I really can't get mad. I really can't get mad because now it's done and they're done and over with and they're all grown. But I'm not going to let y'all sit down and try to say that I'm a bad mother because of that. I'm not going to let y'all tell me that because I'm not. And um, they would never tell me that. And that's all that matters is what they think, okay? So, I did mention to my youngest son about the comments that you guys said. And he just laughed it out like, oh my God. You know, y'all take things way too serious sometimes. We was out having fun. It's 4th of July. These kids do whatever they want to do. Okay, they grown. Okay. As long as they ain't strung out on no drugs. As long as they ain't hurt nobody. They minding their own business. They in their own lanes. They doing their own thing. You know, I'm all, you know, for them. And uh, if anything comes about and i need to talk to them about my kids i know how to address them i know how to talk to them uh they ask me questions and stuff all the time you know they still learning they still you know going through their things and i'm here for them to support them no matter what okay so we're just gonna make that clear you're not gonna sit up here and make it seem like i'm a bad mother because 
not far from that. I was editing a video and I lost track of time. I burnt my pizza. in the morning Wednesday July 7th I just want to tell y'all what happened last night um yesterday I had woke up with a sore throat a little scratchy throat my face looks so swell right now because it's is I noticed when I was editing my video before the um carpet cleaning people came that um I was looking at my video and I was like wow I noticed like how big my stomach looked and then I, it dawned on me. I was like, damn, I haven't went to the bathroom in a few days. Let me get up and take some of that laxative tea. So um, I had got up, um, took the laxative tea, and then by the time the man was cleaning the carpet and got ready to leave, I was finishing up editing my video. And then my stomach was hurting so bad, I knew I had to use the bathroom. So... But while I was using the bathroom, I was busting out in the sweat. I wasn't feeling good. And I was like, damn, am I coming down with something? Or is, it, or is, this, is this the toxins that's leaving my body making me feel like this? My throat is so sore. I woke up yesterday, my throat was scratchy. But last night, it was getting worse and worse and worse. I had got up like 3 in the morning just to gargle salt and water. I don't know what happened guys. I didn't go nowhere yesterday. And then um by the time the bed, I was trying so hard to hurry up, put my bed up, put the sheets on, so I can hurry up and lay down. That's how bad I was feeling. And I was feeling so bad I couldn't even pick up my camera. Y'all, I don't know what happened, but I was in sweats. I had the chills. I was not feeling good. My throat is so sore. Like this side of my neck is like, I can barely even, it just hurt on this one side. And every time I swallow, I gotta hold my ear. Um, I don't have any cough drops. I was throwing, using that spray, that throat spray stuff that wasn't working. Y'all, I don't know what happened. I don't feel good. And, um, Maybe when I woke up with a scratchy throat yesterday, maybe I was coming down with something then. And I believe because um, sometimes it be so cold in here, I thought maybe my throat was scratchy because it was, you know, the cold air. I needed to get up this morning and work. That's why I'm up this morning. It's 6 o'clock, 6, 12. I needed to get up and work, but I don't know if it's going to happen, y'all. I just don't know. I, that's how bad I feel. My throat is hurting so bad. It hurt just like right on this side. My ear hurt. This hurt. I don't even know if I can take just driving because 
that's how bad I feel. I couldn't even lift, grab the camera last night to finish the vlog, so I'm finishing it now. I don't know how, if I'm gonna be able to vlog today, because I just don't want to be vlogging anything, just, you know, I'm not feeling well, you know? I don't know what happened. But one thing I don't, I haven't did, I haven't been sneezing or coughing. If I was running a fever, I don't know, because I was like, I had the chills and the sweats and the chills and the sweats. I just want to stay in the bed. So as soon as CVS open, I'm going to go get me some um, cough drops, because that will help my throat. Oh my God, I don't know what happened. But yeah, I can say this though. My stomach did go down. <laughs> I used the bathroom so much yesterday. I know it's too much information, but um, I used the bathroom so much and I just could have swore it was just like the toxins. And I just thought maybe I was feeling bad because maybe the toxins sleep in my body. But if I feel up to it, I will vlog today because I do need to straighten up in here. I don't know, but right now I'm going back to bed. I'm not getting out this bed yet. I'm not. And um, I just want to say, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell button so you can be notified of every video I upload. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't feel good, but I wanted to tell y'all that because I didn't want to. I didn't want to just end the vlog with me just making up the bed. So just to let y'all know, just I'm not feeling good today. I'm gonna try my best to try to make myself feel better. I might end up have to take either some vitamin emergency or thermoflu, but either way, I'm gonna have to take something. All right guys, I love each and every one of you guys and I will see you in the next video.